Hey, now we're going to take a look at Jing. This is another tool that I've used for a while uh, to basically go ahead and capture screen uh, screen captures, but also get screen casts. Uh, if you go to jingproject.com, uh, one of the reasons why I stopped using uh, Jing and moved on to Screencast-O-Matic is because uh, Jing Pro stopped. Uh, they basically canceled it off, but you can still get the Jing basic piece. The reason why I liked it before is a real quick way to grab screen captures and screencasts. So I already have it installed and I go through all the process about how to install it and where to install it. If I wanted to grab, let's say, a screen capture, I have my students right now using Wikipedia and I want to show them how to get to the wiki we're using for class. I can go in and I can get, a, get an image or get a video, um, turn on my webcam if I need to. I'm going to capture an image and then basically go in and add some text and say uh, you will need to enter the URL up here and then what I also do sometimes is I'll add in um, if they have to sign in for an account or something like that or let's say they want to change a page I'll bring them to a specific part of the page and say this is where you'll change your settings, something like that. Um, so basically this is an easier way than just sending out textual directions. Um, and then I can obviously save it right here and basically call it Wikispaces and then I can upload it to Screencast, I can download the file, I can copy it um, and then use that wherever I want to. So I can drag this down to my desktop and, and use it. What I also use uh, Jing for or used Jing for is, for example, uh, you know, like I said, I have my students using Wikispaces right now for class, and we always have a lot of questions about how to use Wikispaces, how to edit, how to add images, how to add video, how to add a new page. And instead of sending out a bunch of textual directions, I can go into create a screencast using Jing, and this is on a Mac or a PC. I can basically grab a chunk of the, the screen real estate right here and then say that I want to capture a video. I usually keep my videos between three and five minutes long. And I would go in here and say, okay, here we are at our website for class. Um, you know, make sure you're on the right URL, make sure that you're signed in to the class, I mean, into the wiki. And then if you want to create a new page, then you would come over here you click on pages and files, you type in whatever the name of the page that it is that you want to create, and then you can go ahead and hit create, it'll bring up a new wiki page for you, and then you can start editing. Um, I would basically, when that's all done, I would finish off the video, Jing will quickly render it out for me, I can hit test once again, I can see how it looks. I think the audio isn't working well just because I'm doing a screencast of a screencast. Um, that's probably messing it up. I can save the video. I can upload it to screencast, which is helpful if I don't want to have it fully go to YouTube. I can upload the clip to YouTube and make it public or private. Um, but the nice thing about Jing is that I have one tool that works on my PC or on my Mac, and I can use it to get screen captures and annotate them, or I can get screencasts and share this out with other people. So that's Jing. It's a great tool. It's a, a powerful tool and, and it's something that I used to use a lot. Um, so that being said, we're talking about Jing.